great big old water moccasin right there. Right there, tangled up in the branches there. On the other side of the log. He's in the water? No, he's up on this branch that's leading out right here. Oh, I see him, right there. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to get No, you're okay. <laughs> just don't want to scare him off. Yeah, he now just popped his head up too. And, mm. you know. I've seen some out here. I've been out here a lot, and I've seen some on the yeah. trail. Yeah, I always have the best luck out here when it comes yeah. to those guys. Yeah. It, it, them and like Florida water snakes are similar, aren't they? They, they look similar. Back markings, but their heads are different. Yeah, they look very similar, but uh, these guys are real stocky, and that that brown stripe right across the his eye line there mm -hmm. is just real stark. It's unmistakable. So. Do they have like diamond shaped heads too, rather than round? We well, yeah, they're more like triangular arrowhead arrowhead shaped. You know. Right. But uh, the the water snake can mimic the same shape, you know, by puffing himself up, oh, and that's that's a whole game with oh. him. So, is there something about coloring underneath here too, or something? Or? Uh, yeah, they have they have these little stripes that run along the jawline. That uh, My, the water, water, the water snakes have the the markings on the jawline, and and their eyes are considerably different. These ones look like they're really really angry, and the water snakes tend to have uh, round pupils, mm -hmm. and they're a little more friendly looking when you when you look at them in the face, you know. So, do they also like uh, wind up in like? Oh a, yeah. The water snakes do that too. Mm -hmm. or oh they yeah. Just will go away like other snakes. Um, well, they do. They do either or. Okay. You know, uh, they'll. They'll. I've sat down on the bank and throw a fishing line in and not notice right away and look over and he's sitting right next to me. You know, and I was like, oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, but really. yeah, you can see this one. He just popped his head up, mm. and you can see that stripe just on his eye, mm. just past his eye there. Mm. And uh, they're they're just a they're just a really ornery, mean-looking snake, and mm. they're fascinating to me. Yeah. They're pretty how long is it Uh, well, generally, generally, uh, you do have some time with these guys. Deaths, fatalities, and deaths are kind of rare because uh, people tend to get anti-venom right away. You know, they call a doctor, and then, but that's a very expensive procedure, so you have to. Let's say you get bit halfway around here. Oh, I'll make a call. <laughs> you make a call and say, "Hey, come and get me." And and the river's right there, so they'll probably send a boat up because you're not getting a helicopter in here, and you know. Do a thing you walk up. Uh, I'm not sure. I've never been bitten, so you know. And the, some of the horror stories, you never know. People are different, you know. Some people might try to walk it out of there, but then your heart rate goes up and it starts. So. Most hikers along this trail won't even notice it. I'd say that's a, about a good three, three and a half foot snake right there. These snakes can be very, very dangerous, so you don't really want to mess. And I'm not going to obviously try to catch it because he's on the other side of the canal. But uh, that's a great looking snake. I'm going to leave this guy on.